June? I thought it was March. Let's try it, 2020. Good afternoon, everybody. It is Mike, the Bowtie Writer. Happy Blur's Day. Today, I want to talk about platform. Everyone tells you about platform, how important platform is, how you need to build your platform, start building your platform right now. And yet, a lot of those discussions about platform miss some really, really important points. Let's talk. To begin today's discussion, I want to start with just a very clear definition of what I think a platform is. So, <clears throat> a platform is an internet presence that does two things. First, it allows an audience to discover you. And second, it allows you to communicate with the audience. Now, the reason that we care about platform is because ultimately a strong platform can allow you to sell more books. And this is also where I have my first beef about how a lot of discussions of platforms go. Because the important thing that they're not acknowledging is that the needs of a platform change. So a lot of this discussion about platform frames this platform pursuit for someone who's new and starting out in the context of someone like, you know, Casey Neistat with millions and millions of YouTube subscribers or celebrities on Instagram with millions of followers or, you know, giant Twitter accounts or like the John Scalzi blog. And that causes problems because it sets unrealistic expectations of what a platform can be and what it most normally is. There's healthy ways to grow a platform and this focus on big giant end game platforms really does distort the process and I think it encourages people to grow their platforms in a way that is not healthy nor sustainable. The other thing is that this huge push that places so much influence on your platform and how you need to prioritize it, a lot of that when you trace it back actually comes from advice and best practices people who are writing nonfiction did. And so not all of that advice is going to be applicable to say fiction writers. Mike, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. But like, you gave me this nice general definition, but you haven't told me what it actually is. Do I need to set up a Twitter or like, what? That's a really good question, actually. Most people meet those two needs that I described above with some combination of social media accounts, typically one or two, and then also they usually have their own personal website. And one thing I want to be clear about is that I have intentionally not specified what your platform should be because again, these things change. And, and I don't just mean that they change based upon your needs, but if you look, how people use social media has changed drastically. If you look at advice from 2010, it's telling you you must get a Facebook page. It is incredibly important. If you're reading advice from 2015, it's saying that you should start a podcast. And if you're reading advice in 2019, they're saying you should start a YouTube channel. And, and so this material about what specific platforms you set yourself up on, what's, what social media or whatever you set yourself up on, that can change. And that's why a lot of this talk about platforms gets really dated really quickly and why I wanted to take this more general approach. Here's what my platform consists of. So I've got my Twitter account at Bowtie Rider. I've been there for four years. I've gotten a very, very established community that I really enjoy interacting with. For writing, by far the two biggest are still Instagram and Twitter. Those have got some of the biggest bookish communities. The thing about social media is that social media is constantly changing and it changes relatively quickly as well. So what kinds of communities exist on Facebook now versus what kinds of communities existed 10 years ago is a very, very different ball game. LinkedIn is a great way to connect with very specific professionals. So if you're a nonfiction writer or you're trying to do business work, business writing for people, like that's another perfectly good place to, to try and be present on. TikTok is the new kid on the block. Is that going to be the social media platform for writers in the future? I don't know, but it's certainly one that's growing and something worth keeping your eye on. The next big leg of my platform was actually this. YouTube. I knew I wanted to make videos. I knew I wanted to learn how to make slightly more cinematic videos. I didn't want to just be a talking head in front of a bookcase. Okay, a little ironic, but 
for me, YouTube is a big part of my platform because I really enjoy making videos. That doesn't mean that it's appropriate for everyone. It doesn't mean everyone has the time for it. So that's totally fine. The most recent addition to what I consider my author platform would be my website that I created back at the beginning of the year. By the way, I have a website now, MikeHeadleyAuthor.com. The link to it down below is in the doobly-doo. Every one of these videos comes with a supplemental blog post and in addition, I've got writing resources and utilities there for you as well. So feel free to check it out. Otherwise, back to the video. That's become a place where I can start putting regular tools for people to discover it. That's a place where I can also start creating my regular blog posts, letting people know what's going on. At the moment, I'm not making any announcements like, oh, hey, I've got a book coming out. But as I kind of nurture that community, nurture that resource, and hopefully find people who are interested in what I have to say, in the future, I will be able to communicate with them about stuff I have going on. But that, that's not the point right now. The point right now is to create stuff that's discoverable, that people would enjoy. So that's been my journey creating a platform and I really did want to have this conversation because I wanted to tell you about how general it is. I have seen too many articles that are saying, all right, get yourself a website and get yourself a blog. I didn't need a website when I was starting out. It was fine once I was more established and I wanted to start directing people to a space that was my own. If you're starting a platform today, I would suggest pick one or two social media accounts. I would personally say Twitter and Instagram, join them and just start trying to interact with people. Don't worry about any of that other messy stuff because it will come later. So that's it, that's that's all I have for this week. Um, you know, what what do you think? Like, what are you using for your platform? Like, let me know down below. I'm curious if there's other things that people consider as part of their platform that I haven't talked about here. Is there anyone out there who like uses Subst Substack or anything like that? I'd, I'd be curious to hear, so. That's it. That's all I have for today. I'm Mike the Bowtie Rider. Everybody, take care and stay safe, all right? There's a lot going on out there. See ya.